Hi guys, I'm Anthony Molinaro. And I'm Timothy Jagger from O'Brien Real Estate with the 10th edition of the Property News for 2023, where real estate news is on the house. Now Tim, Melbourne home prices have again advanced during the month of September according to CoreLogic, which makes it seven months in a row of increases. Melbourne's increase is only modest though at 0.4% in its home values for combined dwellings of units and houses, and it is again underperforming as a capital city when we compare it to the other larger capital cities being uh, Sydney, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. Over the first quarter of July to September of this financial year, that is, Melbourne has grown 1.3% over the three months, whereas Brisbane has achieved 3.9%, Adelaide 4.3%, Perth 3.6%, and Sydney 2.5% respectively. Melbourne home prices are now tracking 6.4% off last year's peak of April 2022. And even more interesting is if we chart the home values of the five biggest capital cities of Australia pre-COVID, that is, from March 2022, now Melbourne has recorded only 3.6% growth over that three and a half years, whereas Adelaide has 49.8% growth, Brisbane 38.9%, Perth 28 and Sydney 17.9%. Um, respectively. So it's fair to say Melbourne has got a lot of catching up to do on those capital cities. And the opportunity, I suppose, for investment in Melbourne from interstate and overseas investors uh, looks a lot more uh, attractive in the longer term. Mm -hmm. Inflation data for August was released on Wednesday last week. And even though overall inflation increased slightly, we saw annual core inflation, which shoots out holiday travel and volatile items such as petrol, fruit and vegetables, decreased from 5.8% to 5.5% in July. As expected, the RBA left the cash rate on hold when they met last Tuesday, and CBA chief economist says he believes rates will remain on hold to mid 2024. Fingers crossed. Now, ratecity.com.au estimates uh, around 155,000 mortgage holders will reach the cliff by the end of this year, with another 450,000 fixed loan mortgages due to expire next year in 2024. Now, to date, ratecity.com.au says Australia has passed that halfway point of mortgage cliff, which is great. But the latest research from Juwai.com, which is even more good news, um, Tim, it's the number one Chinese portal for Asian buyers as well, has said that Australia is now the top destination for Chinese home buyers, followed by Canada, the UK, and the United States. So according to the co-founder and group managing director, Daniel Ho, Chinese buyers have emerged from three years of border closures with a lot of catching up to do. So Australia is now tracking 76 percent higher in inquiries from china directly in quarter three of the financial year compared to quarter two and huge numbers looking at CoreLogic's home value index metro melbourne median house price in september produced an increase of 0.3 percent and unit 0.6 percent the top three municipality areas in metro melbourne for capital growth over the last 12 months are whitehorse monash and manningham for regional victoria the top three regions are mildura wellington and borbore Although regional prices for combined dwelling types was a flat in September with no increase recorded, however, units increased 0.3%, whereas houses diminished with 0.1%. Now, looking at the rental market, rent increases retracted in September nationally after 36 months of consecutive increases. However, the vacancy dropped to only 1%. And to put that in perspective, the vacancy rate on a 10-year average is 2.8% for combined capital cities. The housing undersupply looks to certainly get worse before it gets better, with total dwelling building approvals for August down 8.1%. Huge. Lastly, our office is excited to announce their annual Halloween competition for the children is back. We will be giving away three family points vouchers to our winners. If you're interested in entering, simply pop into the office or email blackburn at brianrealestate.com.au and we will send you a copy to print and colour in. All our entries will be displayed at the front office and our winners will be announced Friday the 27th of October at 12pm. Now that's all for this month. I'm Anthony Molinaro. And I'm Timothy Jagger. But remember, the information provided is of a general nature and you should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Thank you for tuning in to this month's Market Wrap and until next month, it's bye, bye for now. now.